Now, this guide is definitely a fun one, I would say. And before we get started, I do just want to say we are so close to 1,000 subscribers, guys. We're at 762 right now, I believe. Uh, my goal is to get 1,000 by the end of the year. So if I could get another 240, that would be huge and amazing. The support has been great. The OSRS community is always the best community. Now, this guide's going to be for mostly those who have a lot of money. I'm not going to lie. Who have a lot of money. Uh, who are doing a Slayer task. Who are pet hunting. Um, I mean, this could be a guide for someone who doesn't have a fire cape yet. If you have the GP, I'm about to show you right now. For this setup, I do suggest you bring full Justicar, which is about 50 mil. The Elizan Spirit Shield, if you don't have that, you could bring the DFS. Um, you're just going to be less AFK. Just remember that. But that's fine. If you can get the Fire Cape for the first time, that's huge. Your best in slot blessing. The Blood Fury, so your character will heal up during combat. The Fire Cape, if you have it. If not, bring the Obby Cape. Uh, either the Fang or the Rapier will do. I brought the Rapier. Uh, Ferocious Gloves, if not, bring the Barrow's Gloves. Memorial Boots, Berserker Ring imbued. If you have the Altar Ring, bring that. I do not have that. Uh, for the inventory setup, I do have two Super Combat Potions. One Bastion Potion, which is the Range Potion. I brought in food just in case. I brought two brews, 17 Super Restores, and I only have 86 Prayer, so I don't have 99. I did want to bring a bit more Super Restores. And then I would say bring a quick and easy range switch so you can kill Jad if you don't want to melee him. Once I entered the cave, it was about 80%, I would say, AFK. I did monitor it, and I wanted to watch for my prayer to ensure I had enough when it came time to fight Jad. Because, obviously, if you don't have prayer, you're going to get smacked by him. Um, my main concern was the bats, as you'll see throughout this. I didn't want them to hit me five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten times, draining my prayer while my character was fighting another monster. So I did make sure that I would kill the bats first and then let my character go back to being AFK. My other concern was hoping that I would out DPS the healing of the melee. So that's Yit Medj Not. And you'll see here later in the video. Two of them spawn at wave 61 with the major, meaning they can constantly heal each other and possibly outdoing my damage. But I was easily able to kill the both of them without paying attention too much. Other than those two things, it's fairly easy. And with similar gear that I'm wearing right now, you'll, you'll be just fine as long as you're paying attention a little bit. The reason why you should bring the Ellie is because of its passive effect, it has a 70% chance of reducing the damage to the player by 25%. So that's huge. And this also stacks with the Justicar armor. And that's also why I'm bringing full Justicar. On top of having the blood amulet, it makes it pretty damn impossible to die unless you run out of prayer or get really unlucky, like I did. So during wave 40, I did get unlucky and I almost died to the major. So I did have to pay attention. I had to back away, brew up. I think I only drank three brews this entire fight. Um, so that's huge and use a lot of food, but do bring, like I said, those two brews and an extra food just in case you do get unlucky. Uh, that was the only time I did actually heal up during the fight. Other than that, my defense held up. I have 95 defense. Yeah, 95, I think. And the blood fury was able to, to heal me the whole time. So I had no problems there. I would say during this fight, depending on your combat stats and your defense level and the gear you bring, you could pray melee for the first 14, 13 waves, because those are all melee monsters. Wave 14 um, is when you see your first range monster. Yep, that's when you see your first range monster. And you can go back to doing melee. I would pull up the... What is it? The Jad Waves Guide. And it tells you which wave is next and what monsters are coming out after that. So I did not pray melee during this fight at all. You can see that might be different for some of you. If you're taking damage, obviously pray melee and then pray range. 
but do not take off your prey mage. That you will die from. So you'll see that at wave 31, and then he sticks with you all the way up until the Jad fight. So from wave 31 on, you can keep your prey mage on. Just monitor your prayer consumption. So I didn't keep it on the whole time just because I didn't know how many prayer pots I was going to have when I got to the end of this video. So I wanted to make sure that I actually killed Jad in this video. But yeah, from 31 all the way to Jad, keep your prey mage on if you are going to be more AFK. Other than that, pray melee, pray range accordingly, and just AFK it, drink prayer potions. As you see, I don't take too much damage throughout this video. There are times when the HP does get concerningly low, only a couple times, but the Blood Fury heals you up. The LE really provides that extra defensive bonus along with the Justicer, and, and you'll be fine. Also, make sure you are potted up with super combat potions, and you should be able to do this no problem. And just a quick word from our sponsor, OSRS Bricks. Since I'm fighting Jad, I feel it's appropriate to show you Jad that he has. So here we got the mini Jad for $71. Here we have the regular size Jad. Does come with a character if you choose. If you don't choose, then it's only $104. It's pretty large, actually, once you get that. That's pretty cool. Nice detail on it. That's a beautiful Jad right there. And then we also have the Jad Deluxe, which comes with that little base plate in your character and a little of the uh, the background there, some lava on the bottom. That is pretty cool. If you get that, it's $158. And remember, free shipping on orders over $200. And if you guys do want to buy anything, go ahead, buy now. Put in your my code TKT at checkout. And you will get 5% off your entire order. Thank you to the guys at OSRS Bricks, as always. Uh, then, you know, once you're on the Jad fight, it's pretty straightforward. I switched over to the range because I didn't want to melee him. His quick slam down attack is range and his standing attack is mage. So that's the easiest way to, to watch what's coming at you. Then the healers come out around 50% HP. Just tag them once and they'll stop healing Jad. Unless you can out DPS them. And then the fight is over after that. And you get your fire cape. You get like 8,000 Tolku. Which is trash. Um, you can just drop that or bank it. But yeah, the fight is pretty straightforward. I mean, once you get past those easy beginning waves you just throw on prey mage the whole time because the majors are there and your guy should be should be fine if this is your first time doing the fire cape i know i fast forwarded the video pretty fast but uh yeah just watch it maybe put it in slow motion and it's not that bad with this gear uh, i know he's like you guys are like oh he's saying that because he's got an elijah speed shield who has 800 mil but listen, guys, DFS, huge defensive bonuses and strength bonuses on that. So just bring that, pay attention, bring a little more food, um, and you should be fine. And this could be your first time getting the fire cape. That would be sick if you could watch this guide and this is the guide to get you the fire cape. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Do subscribe if you did enjoy the video or any of the videos on my channel. We are at 765. We are so close to 1,000 subscribers. Do be sure to check out my easy mid-level bossing guide, my four AFK bosses in-game, in and many, many more of my videos that I've re released this year. Uh, for the Jad fight, I did forget to mention, once you're on wave 62, the wave before Jad, there's an orange major that spawns, and that is the exact location where Jad will spawn on wave 63. Again, love you guys. See you guys in the next video.